Hi, Josie Lewis here. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the process of being a creative. This is something that I think about all the time because it turns out it's hard to be a creative. It's hard to carve out the time and the energy and there's fear and there's perfectionism and all sorts of things get in the way. So this is something that has really helped me. A few years ago, I had a dream. I'm a big dreamer, as you might imagine, just looking at me. The dream was I was digging, but I wasn't just digging with a shovel. I had one of those uh, jackhammers and I was like jackhammering away and there was some really, really thick cement. And I'm like, you know, like pounding away at this. And it was like six feet deep and it took me a long time to jackhammer through. And then when I jackhammered through, there was a box and it was like a treasure box and I, picked it up and I opened it up and I thought, what's gonna be in here? It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be treasure, it's gonna be chocolate, maybe, I don't know. And you know what it was? Dirt, it was dirt. It was nice looking dirt. I mean, it was like that really brown, rich soil that smells good and is like moist and like good looking dirt, but it was dirt. So it took me a while to unpack that dream. It stayed with me for quite a while and I had to think about it a lot. And my finally, my interpretation, thanks subconscious, was all that cement are all the things that get in our way when we're trying to live a creative life. The things I mentioned earlier, like the fears and the perfectionism and time restraints and energy because we got a lot of stuff going on not only just in our practical lives where we have jobs and families and lives and social lives and TV, you know, but also um, some of the internal things that like keep us from, you know, living our best life, finding our creative spark, we are afraid. And that cement is hard to get through. And uh, sometimes we need outside help, which is what that, um, you know, the jackhammer is all about. For me, Prayer and meditation is helpful for that. Therapy, not a bad idea. Talking to friends that are supportive and maybe moving away from some of the friends that aren't as supportive. You know who I'm talking about. Time to just, you don't have to be mean. You can just, you know, don't call them as much. Find the people that like who you are and support you. And find people that are also like looking for their own creative spark because they're more fun to be around, frankly. And, uh, and sometimes, you know, we need to like keep a journal and maybe read some good books that will help us to find, get through some of those, those fears that hold us back. When we can get through that stuff, and by the way, I think this is not like a, like a linear thing. I think that in any point of my life, there have been areas of my life where I've been working through the cement and then other areas where I'm dealing with the dirt, which I'm gonna talk about next, the dirt represents growth and seeds and planting. We don't just pop out of the box accomplished musicians. We have to actually work at it or whatever it is we're doing. Artists, musicians, chefs, that's what planting is all about. When we take a risk and go to the studio and um, try to make a painting and it's very scary, I, I know, it's scary, and you might not like what you do, you are planting a seed, and that seed, if we can keep on tending that garden, those seeds will grow, and eventually, with the right amount of farming and attention and maybe some luck around the weather, we're gonna have um, something beautiful come up. Thanks for watching, hope you subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.